Alright guys, welcome back to more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thank you all so much for all the love and support each and every day. Really means a lot to me. And with that being said, let's continue onward and forward with this amazing game. And leave a like for more Assassin's Creed Valhalla if you guys want to see more parts quick. Let's do this, man. Still rocking Altair's outfit because why not? one of the best uh, outfits in the game personally for me and this is why I took my ta uh, my time with this game because I know they would keep on updating the game and add new stuff and look what happens people played and rushed through the entire game of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and didn't get a chance to put on Altair's suit so I'm sure uh, they, they missed out on a lot of updates. <laughs> For sure. Especially getting, like, all these new weapons and stuff, too. It was like a 10 gig update, so... It's pretty huge. I should be cautious around here. Cautious? Oh, nuts. Looks like we're headed up there, huh? Uh, yeah, about that. Come no closer. Hold I'm, I'm not! I'm not! Dude, I'm not! Ah. Oh. Man, I didn't want to do that, but you left me no choice. You know, I try to stay stealth. I, I really try to stay uh, stealthy, but it just never ends up working out. Never does. Gotta love it. All right. Let's try to stay stealthy. There we go. See ya! Alright, so now our goal is to get all the way up there. So I will take the walls all the way till we get there. Let's just be cautious though. Easy does it. Of course you turn around. Get over here. Get assassinated. Uh oh. There's two people coming. Should we take the upper approach? No, I think we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Got him. Stay down. Nice. All right, we're almost there. Almost to the sweet victory. Okay, I see that. Uh-huh. Climbs all the way up to there. Okay, we need... Can, I mean, can we climb these... Ro oh, no. No, we cannot. Hmm. All right, so we have no choice but to go down here. Whoops. Sneak through here. Easy does it. Pass through here. Nice. Sneak on down here. If this is the right thing to do. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Surely I can make it to the side right here, right? Surely I can. Yes, let's go, baby. I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. It is indeed, but we got a way in, baby. Without arousing any guards. I wonder what in God's name we are here for. Hunbeo is his own prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt in the wolds of Lindsay and whore in Botolfston. <laughs> too right, too right. I'm done with idle time. What? What? Grab some ale and let's skin some ice. You're kidding! Oh, come on. It never goes my way. Screw you. 
Come on, who else wants some? Work with me. Ow. Oh, what the heck? Collect, collect, open door. Going down. You carried yourself as a true born king, born in a time of wolves. You have earned a long rest. Thank you, beautiful Galdrina. So firm is your loyalty. None know me as well as you do. There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? No way. I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his Hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunvald. Dude, he's dead. You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Home wants to know his father's fate. Why has your elderman's death been obscured? Oh, wow. Hunwolf deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunvald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Dang, man. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. Is you gap Will I day on him? Fuck is on straight. A box of musty clothing. And a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. I don't know what this is. And I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. What the heck, man? How did he die? Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebearers, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I'm a Dane, not a cruel grief monger. I mean, okay. What the heck, man? Turn the brooch to Honwald. Yeah, sure thing, I guess. Oh, I totally forgot to light my, like, sword on fire. I should totally do that. Alright, let's fast travel back here. Tell him the news. See, I wish I could just stay like that with the hood on and everything on the back. That, that just looks so sick. Aw, oh, crap! Yo, I looked the wrong way. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. All right, it's fine. We're alive. 
Hopefully, uh, he takes this well. I'm sure it's not gonna go well at all because it's his father, you know, so. Oh boy. Eivor! What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord, have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shiremoot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire Mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land, and I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire, and will convene in a few days' time. Hmm. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my God commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. I'm sure you will. Death, an open secret. Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her. Yeah, true. I don't trust that, like, that lady that followed Hunwald. I really don't. Now, where was it? I can't even find it. Solve for a fresh wound. Aka, yeah, there we go. 
So she's over here then? I'm glad these guys are still dead. She's just chilling at the main gate, huh? Oh yeah, I speak to her. Not hide from her. Archer, where is Humboldt? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Okay. Humboldt loved you like family and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oaths and ale work better than your prayers and saints. Oh, dang. You tell her, Eivor. What a savage. Yo. Alright, let's fast travel here. Gonna try and finish this arc in this video. Hopefully it goes well. And we may find one of the Order of the Ancients. I fear like it's one of the four of those people that we just met. I just got a bad feeling. Man, he's all the way out here, really? That's crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and get our mount. And let's go! Onward! This has been a really, really interesting arc, for sure. Basically, we're playing as a detective, trying to see what happened to his father. And we found out he's dead. Now we go report that the father's dead to the son. So, yes. It's really Let's interesting. You, friend. Oh, there we go. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. I remember. <laughs> He's drunk. Hello? Eivor? Is that you? Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Humboldt. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Contemplate... Contemplate the view. Be easy with your grief, Humboldt. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <gasps> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite... Quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting. And I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. Hmm. To your father, Lord Hunbeoth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. 
<laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. All Nothing right. like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Drinking and riding, huh? Don't drink and drive. Now, come everyone. And enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor full, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. And you will have it, my friend. What the? What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Squad. No. Hang on. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. Where's he at? I saw him running. Where'd he go? Eliminate the threat. Where did the threat go? Show me. Hmm. Oh, shoot, there he is. Got him. They're hiding in the bushes. There you are, piece of crap. Same goes for you. All right. There's got to be more somewhere. I knew it. Get out of here. And one for you! Nice, nice. It's a trap. It was an ambush. Where's the rest of them, though? I thought I got them all. Oh, there he was. Crap. Hide or fight, Hoodwolf! Now! To survive this. Almost done. Into your fate. Oh god. Ah. Going to ah. you. Get out of here. Evil, help. I'm coming, I'm coming. No, you don't. 
Get out of here. You General, will not touch him! Well struck, Eivor! Whew! That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. Uh -oh. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Oh, man. Hopefully nothing bad happens to her. We'll see, though. It still looks like an ambush type area. Oh boy. The Shire. It makes me want to go back and play Lord of the... Well, not play. Uh, watch Lord of the Rings. Oh, thank the heavens. There she is. That's her? Wow, beautiful view. Hundval, I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the shire as he did. Hmm. I don't know, man. I really don't want him to die. Uh, I'm doing this to save him. Rest, Hunwald. By sunrise, you'll have shed all your tears and pissed out the last of the ale. Eivor is right, Hunwald. Tomorrow is a new day. Yes. Yes. Resting next to my angel will heal all that is broken within me. Be well, Eivor. And thank you. Yeah, I did not want him to come keep with me. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. Awesome. Well, there's that. Oh my gosh, Orlock. They have Orlock here. And the drinking game. Oh man, do I dare do it? No, no. I, I'll just, uh, I'll do it some other time, but let's go to quests. The Thane of Lincoln. Wonder where that's at. Let's see. Somewhere. Around here, right? Eh? Oh, there it is. Found you! 
This is a little bit closer, I guess. This has been a really awesome game. I really love how they made the mission structure, you know? Really well done indeed. Okay, that's where I went the wrong way. <laughs> this is the right way. All right, I know I'm gonna get spotted here, so let's get the wolf and let's go. No, not, not gonna do nothing? Uh, okay. I mean, that's fine. Fine by me. Whew. That made me a bit nervous. But we're good. <laughs> it's already been 30 minutes. Okay. So that means... Who knows? We, we might, it might have to be another video. I try to keep my videos, like... Not too long, because you can really get, like, lost in this game. You can get carried away, for sure, and just keep on playing it for hours and hours on end. And that's exactly what has happened to me. Look at this view. Gosh, I, I, that never gets tiring. Or tiring. <laughs> Hello, Alfgar. Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon, finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to leave this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Unwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Oh boy. Hunting a bear. Ah, my old friend Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well. 
An itching for a hunt, as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Well met. Well met. <laughs> it is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Eivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? Why does Elfgard seem very There's sus? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. Oh, jeez. I don't know about this. Well, no time like the present, I guess. What a cave. Oh, yeah. There's definitely something here. Searching the cave for the bear. Yep, here we go. This is the threshold of the beast's home. Wow. There's no doubting that. What the? That's not a bear. Wolves. We're good, we're good. Okay. Heading on up the cave, okay. On guard. Eivor, there's something you'll want to see here. Is that? That smoke! Oh no. My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but... Please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me. Well, let's go then. Let's do this. I was really sus of Althgar, though. The faces he was giving. I should not be seen in this area. Well, I have to be seen. Let's fight, baby. Bring it on. Search every last Let's go. Out. Here we go. The chicken really trying to kill me right there. Woo! Miss me. Come on, let's go. Let's go, baby. Uh-oh. Crap. I'm trying to do a little parry to see how it would go. Oh! Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Oh yeah. Flame sword time. That damage is so good. Well, we did it. Uh-oh. We didn't do it. Not yet. Help him out. No, you know. Get off of him. Ooh, I love this sword so much. Oh, easy. There we go. There we go. Where are you going? Oh, still more. Another one down. Oh, I almost killed it. <laughs> I almost killed the civilian. I think we're good. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgard. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in 
heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Moot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Well, well. Look at the bear. He's done. You're welcome. <laughs> Where the stone falls. Alright. Let's talk to him again, I guess. Hang on. He will not let me talk to him. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. Alright, so now... Let's just fast travel this to this. It's been 40 minutes in the recording. I feel like the end is near. There's been a lot of ambushes recently, so... Hmm. It makes me wonder... And we're back. Back here again. Nice. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Sure thing. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. I feel like this is where it's about to go down. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. Oh, man. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. Oh man. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Nice. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. Okay, Hunwald. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Okay. Definitely want to talk to everyone. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Hmm. I don't know, I just seem very sus of Alfgar after the looks he gave me. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. Really? The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Wow, that's a new one. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Here we go. What? How oh, fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. 
Have no fear. That's good to hear. Okay. And last but not least, Bishop Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Oh man, that's gonna be a really tough decision. Oh boy. Oh three boy. Men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. Oh, man. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Hmm. Considering Alfgar, considering Hoonwald. Oh, this is... Ah, oh, shoot. Hoonwald is not the most cunning or clever. But he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Oh, man. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I don't know about a faithful ally. I'm definitely not voting Alfgar, for sure. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three, and has already proven himself. Hmm. I feel like I want to go for the bishop. Either the bishop or Hoonwald. Ah, shoot. But one of these... Uh, but he could be in Order of the Ancients. That's the thing. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Shoot. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? This is tough. This is really tough. Hoonwald or Herefrith? I do not know. Oh, this is... Oh. What do you say again? Hoonwald is not the most cunning or clever. But he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Both go a long way in times of need. <sighs> and what did this one say? The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three, and has already proven himself. <sighs> Man, I don't know. I guess I will... Nah, I, oh, I don't know. I want to go for the only one who is not the Order of the Ancient. Because if I pick wrong... Guaranteed one of these people are Order of the Ancients, but not Hoonwald. Hoonwald I know is a good man, so I'm gonna go with him. Hoonwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. I'm gonna go with Hoonwald. I have to. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious one. Oh, I better not regret this. It is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hundbjör, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. Hey! I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly, 
What more can I say? I... I don't know. Uh -oh. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremut's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble oh, no. friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken I this knew it. Shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. I knew Your it. Grace, what is this? No! It's an assassination! Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! I knew it! I freaking knew it! Oh! I almost chose wrong! Oh my goodness! Mother of God! Should have known! Man, I saw it coming! Woo! Thank God I did not choose him. That would have been so bad. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh boy. Break the shield. Break everything. Break your face. Defend your elderman. Kill the I knew it, man. I, I had a feeling. I just did not want to choose any of those guys. Only choosing the one that was right. And that felt the best. There we go. Mm, mm. It's almost over. Come here. Got him. Nice. This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The ultimate seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. Wow. So happy that I chose right. Oh my goodness. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Awesome. That's where the stone falls. New quests, a sword, shower, and Anachester. Okay. But it's actually been a good 54 minutes, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to end this video off right here. And in the next video, we are going after this Order of the Ancients. And it's going to be amazing. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best and only assassination family on YouTube. Going big and growing strong. I love you all. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the assassination family today. I'd be honored to have you on this 2021 journey with me. Haha, <laughs> see ya.
fix it there. <laughs> and as always, I will see all of you guys and girls in the next video. Assassin4259, out.